time for us. There are millions of women out there, young people out there, <coughs> who face so many challenges every day that, but for their lack of knowledge, those things that they face would not be challenging. And if we have people who come together, not because they want to make money, but because they want to assist this um, cadre or this gender of people who need knowledge, principally because knowledge is power, who need the knowledge, we cannot overemphasize their usefulness. Mr. Dalisola Konde, uh, OFR, the world class scholar and regular icon, served the Lagos State University in multiple capacities from the 2nd of October 1985 to the 31st of March 1993. She was also appointed a visiting professor of law on sabbatical on the 17th of August 1985. Uh, this uh, appointment was changed and uh, when she also became a visiting professor of law on the 6th of September the same year. She eventually became the head of the Department of Law in 1986 when the department was a constituent part of the Faculty of Law and Humanities from 1985 to 1986. On what um, what is outstanding? I, I think the the, the the crucial point in her career, which was uh, very important, was that um, when she became a dean um, of law at at last um, from 1987 to 1988, and as a dean of law, she exhibited excellent academic leadership. This is quite acknowledged here. Uh, at last, she became. Lato became internationally famous faculty under her. She was president of Zonta International Club, Lagos, 1989 to 1991, district governor, district 18, Zonta International, 1992 to 1994. And she was also secretary general of the Nigerian Association of University Women, 1971 to 1979. Professor Jadisola Konde, interestingly, was a life member of the International Law Society. In from 1993 to 2003, as executive director of WLDCN, she undertook research on women's issues and rights and empowerment training on human rights almost in every state of the Federation. Training manuals have been published by the Center on Leadership Training for NGO Leaders, Access to Justice for Women, Rule of Law and Application of Human Rights for Law Enforcement Stakeholders, Conflict Management and Resolution, Violence Against Women, Political Participation of Women, Gender budgeting, very important, and gendering the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Professor Dennis Salakode was a very strong voice. And I remember in 2005 when women were going to protest being excluded from the National Political Conference. She led the women to uh, the conference and they changed, they were supposed to have like six women, and because of her intervention, they, were, they changed the number of women to 30 women. So meaning that she was a powerful force, uh, she has been there for quite a long time. So if, uh, uh, if, if uh, she uh, was still alive, it would have been yeah, better for women. The good thing also is that beyond that, Professor Dali Sonakonde has done a lot in terms of you know, putting some of the ideologies into as many women as possible. And that is why 10 years after she died, we were not just sitting there and lamenting. We had uh, progress that we have made, you know, as a formidable uh, feminist movement in Nigeria. There are new laws have been made, um, judgments uh, of the Supreme Court had substantiated some of the gender equality, you know, proposals that she had been making. Uh, even in the constitution, that's why that we have not really been able to change a lot in the constitution, but we have actually moved from where we were. So meaning that even in death, Professor Dadis Nolakonde's voice is still very strong. As we learned from Professor Ayo Achajua, who gave the memorial lecture, uh, we have had some successes, we've made some progress since she died 10 years ago, but we have also had some lapses. So the thing to do now is to work together as women and move the whole effort that she lived and died for forward for the future generations to benefit from in Nigeria. The issue should start with us women. Women should support women into 
political participation into leadership position. You know, it's been said a lot of times that women are women's uh, worst enemies. That narrative should change. We should be our allies. We should, women should be allies of women, should be friends of women and help one. That's what the Professor Akonde was, was doing all her life. And we should continue in that strength and even intensify the efforts for women. Okay, if a woman decides to uh, contest for a position now, you will find out that majority of women will hardly vote for her. Why is that? We should support one another. That's the place to start. If we support one another, others will support us. They will see a cause in you know what we are fighting for and join therefore then there should also be government support to women uh, in a way that it, there should be an encouragement because you find that the politics especially is a money thing you have to be wealthy to do it some waivers for women maybe if that is possible so that it is easy for them to get into it and then to, to get forms and you know waivers, maybe reduce the what the women will have to pay. I'm sure, some concessions like that because we, as you will find out, when you look at uh, the really commercial, uh, the, 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 the economically strong population in Nigeria, women are right, you know, right down there. So we need to be helped. You know, we need to be supported to really get there. And the men should also be in it, like the he for she campaign. We should have more men in that kind of campaign. He supporting she into prominence. When Professor Jai Salale was alive, we've all been fighting for affirmative action. In fact, she was the president of the National Affirmative Action. And affirmative action means that um, we want certain percentage of women to be in a um, position of um, governance and leadership, especially in um, decision-making positions in this country because we have many qualified women and each time our, our women are being relegated. I mentioned that um, two, 2007 was the high point of electing women into our national uh, parliament like um, the Senate, the National Assembly, the State Assemblies. But now we have very few women in fact, in the State Assembly, very, very few women. I think only about three or four women are in the uh, Senate, which is a, an improvement. But in the others, you know, especially the state, state representatives, it has all gone down. So I think um, we should appeal not only to our government, but also to the political parties. Because there are many women aspirants who are well qualified, but they are not given the chance because of, um, I, I don't know, maybe we are playing money politics or godfatherism. But we need more women. And we should make it a policy that um, more women, political parties should actually feel more women. Uh, Ascend to the 35% um, um, action that um, uh, the Beijing... Um, conference and all the government assigned to that at least women should be 30%, 30 to 35% of um, our body polity. In Nigeria, we are average of 5%. Whereas in countries, even small countries like um, Rwanda, has about 50% women in their parliament. What are we doing in Nigeria? Ghana has a high percentage relative to Nigeria. So this is the problem.